Alright, howdy guys and welcome to part 4. I was at the freaking end of the level, but I decided to end the last part there. That is so awkward. I did not see that trap the first playthrough I did on this. I don't know why. I swear you go through it somehow. Oh well. Great. Save state. If I remember correctly, uh, there's going to be a lot of climbing. And I mean a lot. This tree is super, super tall. And there are wolves and frogs that are on it. Okay, um, if you fall too far, uh, the beast will instantly die. However, if you fall at a shorter height, he will be fine and you will not take damage. But I'm doing a terrible job climbing this tree at the moment. We'll save anyway, because I'm confident in my abilities. Oh my god. Keep going left. I think there's a one-up over the there. It was there. I don't really need it, so I, whatever. I missed the one-up. Got the green thing, though, but that didn't did not refill my health. That's what I want most. But the game is reluctant to do that. Take a lot of damage. Not cool, dude. That's my platform, frog. I need it to live. I don't think I can go any further left. I believe I have one hit left before the beast dies. Yep. I am correct. Bad out of there, safe state. Anything over here? Instant death. No, I know that. It's gotta be guarding something. Never mind. Well, I completed this stage. Not terribly, terribly hard if I had more time and patience. I might not have taken any damage at all, but it would have taken three times as long. Ah, crap. Okay, let's refresh my memory on what is going on here. I believe we have to make a leap of faith already. Okay, I'm not starting with that hit. <laughs> there we go. Get down, yeah? Okay, fine, that's fine. I'll take my hit now. Because I believe you can only go so far right and then it wants you to drop. Okay, I'm stuck. Yep, so we have to go down carefully, because there's water right there, and the frog almost pushed me into it. How nice. I forgot, the wolves take two hits. And that one is guarding a platform that I need to jump on. Why? Why, man? I need to put this mutt to sleep or something. God damn it, bad timing. It's here, and it's away, okay. How do you like it, huh? Jeez. Ow. Poisonous dart frog. Okay, back to the climbing session. Maybe I'll make it up without taking a hit. Maybe I won't. Is there anything over here? No. See, that'd be a perfect place to put like a health pickup or something. But the game makers chose not to do it. Need to save state. Uh, oh, a green book. I thought I killed that. That was a terrible jump. Let's try that again, shall we? <sighs> I did the same thing I did last time. Alright, we're even. It's weird. Wouldn't you think there'd be like s snow footprints or something? But no. There's great 16 bit graphics for you. Oh, that's just a pedal for the time. Okay, we can leave that. That heart, however, looks good. But I think this is, like, a stupid move. And that's why I'm doing it, of course. Aha! You all thought I was gonna fail, didn't you? I've proven you wrong. And beat the stage. So, two birds with one stone, I guess. No, you did not see my total there. You will have to manually add that, sorry. Okay, this boss is really annoying. I 
it's a white wolf, and he has a buddy black wolf. So I guess it's the alpha male that you want to hit. And again, you have to do the the attack button before in anticipation before he gets to you. So it's almost like you're playing with lag. And you cannot hit him when he's doing that little white whirlpool of spin. Yeah, whatever. When he first appears. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. Ow. That's so unfair. <laughs> Ouch. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. He's almost gone. So am I. Oh man, no. I'm gonna save save because I've come too far. And he's no problem at all. Do you want to see my grand total this time? There you go. <laughs> With the addition. As if it matters. Oh no. Our hero has fainted. What does that mean? Okay, the BC's gift. Save, save, because this can be hard. Wait, I should have waited. This is a rather weird and interesting implementation. You can jump like normal, but you can only move right, and instead of doing your claw thing, you actually catch balls. So let's follow the arrow here. Save, save. What we have to do is time it exactly right and catch every one of the snowballs without letting it hit the ground. So, and if you get a perfect run on all of these, you get a extra life. Oh, I'm going way back. I'm open, I'm open! Haha, -ha, extra life. And if that was enough, she throws more snowballs. I think it's nine snowballs, maybe. Keep those at varying distances and different speeds. Sometimes you'll love it, sometimes. Yeah, way back. The end zone, baby. Interception! <laughs> Come on. Is that all you got? Down low, up high, too slow, something like that. This is the last one. Right. Is that it? Of course not. Of course it wasn't. What are you kidding? We're playing Beauty and Beast here. Don't you want action? Adventure? Thrill? Intensity? I don't know. So that brings up a question. Who is this game intended for? Certainly not little kids of the franchise. Maybe Hardcore game design, uh, game players. That's that's about all I can think. No way, a casual gamer would actually do this without save states and whatnot. Whoa, kind of slid for that one. Come on, Bell. It's pretty repetitive, right? That's all we had to do. That's it. Catch the snowballs and we progress on. safe state. Yes I do! Okay. We will start this stage next time. This is the end of part 4 on Blood Slide 42. Thank you for watching.